evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Skippy Low Looks at Hollywood. Today's guests are Broadway Hollywood star Robert Morris and the publisher of the Hollywood Dramalogue, Bill Bordy. And now, here he is, Hollywood's one-of-a-kind, Skippy Low. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Looking at Hollywood Today. We have an Tony Award winner, one of my favorite Broadway stars, and he's a real superstar. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Morris. Hello, Robert. Nice to see you, Skippy. How Thank you, you doing? for having me. Well, I'm fine. I put gas in the car and <laughs> drove over here. I have it parked right outside, put quarters in the meter, <laughs> and I'm just glad to spend the time with you. How to succeed in business without really trying. That, that was the title. That it was the a long one. It was hard to get up on the marquee. Uh, Believe it took me, three people one to put of, that up. One of the best shows. How long was that I on Broadway? I was very fortunate, very, very fortunate to be in a, a great show like that, that won the, uh, the Pulitzer Prize, and of course it... Uh, the Tony. Uh, it, it had some great people associated with it, you know, the choreographer and uh, uh -huh. the director. Oh my gosh, the name just went out of my mind. Bob Fosse. Bob Fosse. And, uh, uh -huh. and of course Abe Burrows and uh -huh. uh, Frank Lesser's music. and. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. It's a great and, show. And Rudy Valley. Rudy Valley, yes. And Michelle right. Lee, who was she, isn't doing badly. She, now. Was she in that? Yes, yeah, she was yeah, in I sure. love her. She's a very yes. talented lady. Absolutely. Yeah. You did also Take Me Along. I did a show called Take Me Along. That was a musical with. Uh, Vivian Blaine. Walter, no, Walter what? Pigeon and Jackie Gleason and Eileen Hurley, who was in All My Children. And that was based on Ah Wilderness by Eugene O'Neill. Great. And directed by Peter Glenville, Robert Merrill wrote uh -huh. the words and the music. That was lovely. Say Darling was with uh, Vivian Blaine. Is that the one? Am I getting confused? Say Darling was, uh, that's with right. With that uh, David Wayne. Right. Yeah, uh, right. Uh, music by Julie Stein. Uh, Comden and Green wrote the words. Directed uh -huh. by Abe Burrows mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, that was a long, long, long time ago. Not really, Robert. No, oh, yes. Not really. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you doing now? Action. Right now, uh, I'm going to say hello to my children who are You're watching this right at this moment, probably. I know it's going all over the country, but I know it's going into New York. New York, Manhattan Cable. Manhattan Cable. On Channel D. Channel D. Every Saturday at 6 o'clock. Okay, so uh, I'd like to say hello to Robin and Andrea and uh -huh. Hillary, my daughters. I haven't seen them in a long time. Three? Thank you. Three daughters. Oh, I'm so beautiful. happy. And there are two in the business, you say? Uh, two of them, two of them are, are in the in, business. In, uh -huh. in the business. Sure. Uh, Robin, the middle daughter, is uh, she's an understudy in uh, Brighton Beach Memoirs. Great show. In fact, she's been on two or three times maybe this past week, and uh -huh. she's been on several times, of course, mm -hmm. and written by Neil Simon. And then my oldest daughter, Andrea, is uh, 21 years old, mm -hmm. I think, and <laughs> she, she graduated. Uh, State University of New York, uh, uh -huh. SUNY, Purchase, and uh, she is in New York making a living, as all young actors and uh -huh. actresses do before they uh, get a job to support themselves. Is that what doing she did when you Slinging were... hash or whatever one does. Robert Morris, how did it all become about you becoming a Broadway, well, to get to Broadway? I was a Fuller Brush man. I worked at Schraff's. Did you really? I parked cars at Tavern on the Green. Mm -hmm. I, I had lots of odd jobs before I... Uh, you know, got my first break. Uh -huh. I w went to the American Theater Wing, and from there I. Uh, You're from Massachusetts, I, Newton. Is that right? Yes, I'm from Massachusetts, Newton. Newton, yes, it's a good town, Newton. Yes, it's a good. Is that town. where you studied in uh, in Massachusetts, in Boston, or somewhere? Or singing, dancing. Not, not really. I mean, I grew up there, and I went to school there. I went to Newton High School, but. Uh, and as a child, I always wanted to be an actor. You oh, know? you always wanted to be. That was your desire. I think so. Yeah. I mean, I used to go to the movies and dream uh -huh. of, uh, uh -huh. you know, uh, uh, Gene Kelly and Ray Bolger uh -huh. and uh, Peter Lawford and Good News and all the musicals and right, right. all that sort of thing and hope some. And I'd come home and play Alan Ladd and <laughs> you know put on trench coats and uh, uh -huh. I, I had a I had a tremendous imagination. I, uh -huh. Always in some sort of fantasy land and. Uh, I, I wanted to entertain. I mean, I, I had a feeling that I wanted to act or be on a stage and be in a book show and uh -huh. do musicals mm -hmm. and things like that. And I'm very fortunate and grateful to have been in five musicals on Broadway. Five? And yes, I think How it's many five. Broadway shows have Maybe you done? Maybe six. Six? <laughs> How many shows have you done, Robert? You've oh done my Sugar. Goodness. Was that on Broadway? Sugar, Matchmaker, too. Say Darling, Take Me Along, Sugar. How to Succeed, Sugar, So Long, 174th Street. You did a lot, yes. And of course, it toured the country in many right. of those shows. And uh -huh. I've done 
repertory theater and I've done theater all over the country and I've uh -huh. done dinner theater and I've now I've done TV shows and so I'm just happy to are you doing something now uh, uh, in Hollywood. You're, we're in Hollywood now we right? are in Hollywood now. <laughs> <laughs> you miss New York do you uh, I'm doing uh, I'm preparing a show I'm, I've got to do a, a, a nice play that I found a play a good play and we're going Not to a go musical. To, no it's going to Traverse City Michigan for two weeks and uh -huh. if it works out there's thought that it might uh, might go on, but one day at a time, we'll see. First, I've got to learn the words. Could you tell us what the title? It wouldn't mean much to anybody. Really? It's called Duke. You Duke. know, it uh, doesn't mean anything uh -huh. at the moment, but uh -huh. it's something that I'm working on, it's, and that's You're nice. going to plan to take it to Broadway? Yes. Well, I plan to learn the words and take it to Travis City, Michigan. Michigan. And then if it's good, and like I think it is, and other people think it uh -huh. is, it, it might have a life further than that. Mm -hmm. I see. Yes. Yes. Tell me something, Robert Morse. Hollywood. What do you find about Hollywood, the difference between Hollywood and New York? Well, I, I mean, you're a Broadway yeah. star, theater to movies, really. Uh -huh. I mean, you've done a lot of films, I know, but... To, you're really theater. The difference, well, I, I guess the difference is, you know, everybody gets in a car out here, sort right. of closes the door. True. And then you go in that little bubble of a car, <laughs> and you drive somewhere else to see uh -huh. some people. And uh -huh. you don't, uh, you, you know, in New York, one is always passing or walking or, uh, right. the, I don't know, it's the, a lot more exercise, I find. I like New York. Uh, a lot more walking. Uh, I prefer walking. <laughs> here, there's a, uh, you know, if you want to get from one place to another, you get in a car. And, and a do, freeway. And a freeway, yes. yes. Especially, I have to sit in the yes. back seat. <laughs> right. Matchmaking. Is that right? Matchmaker. The matchmaker. Yes, you did that movie. Yes, uh, I did the movie with The Matchmaker with uh, Shirley. Shirley, Shirley Booth, uh -huh. Shirley MacLaine, mm -hmm. Tony Perkins, and uh, a great Paul Ford. That's a great film. You were the mm -hmm. only original, you did it on Broadway, you were the only one that from the really show that came to yes. Hollywood. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You're the only one. Uh -huh. I don't even remember the year. You don't? It was a long time ago. Poor Dad, Old oh Dad, is that the name of Old Dad, Old oh Dad, Poor Dad, uh -huh. Mama's Hung You in the Closet. Yeah. What was that about? I, I don't remember what that. What was that about? Yeah. About an hour and a half. <laughs> uh, it, it was a, a sort of a black comedy on Broadway at one uh -huh. time, and uh, they tr put it into a movie. It was with yeah. Rosalind Russell, and to Basically. explain the uh, ramifications yes, of yes. that movie would be yes. like explaining the brothers Karamazov in a minute here, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know. Robert, tell me something. To singer, a dancer, did you <coughs> study? Oh yes. You did study. Oh yes. Singing, uh, dancing. I, music. I I take singing. I have a very bad cold today, and I apologize to the people out there. This isn't. Well, my it's damp today. No, I've but. I've just got a little cold, and I'm sorry. But anyways, I took uh, dance lessons at Luigi's uh -huh. in New York. Luigi's. And, uh, I studied with Lee Strasberg for uh -huh. two years. You did. Yes. And. Uh, now, I would never think you would study with Strasberg. Why? I don't know. I don't why. know. You're more musical comedy than uh, than studying with uh, a method actor. Well, actually, when I got my he first, is a method actor. Uh, actually, when I first got my start in New York, I did mostly dramas. I worked with uh, Dustin Hoffman in Naked Cities and uh, and did a lot of that that, that type uh -huh. of work. It was uh -huh. more dramatic. Or uh, uh -huh. most of my early uh -huh. life dramatic. before uh, the Matchmaker was uh -huh. and TV and around that time was not necessarily musical. Uh -huh. My first musical was Take Me Along. Take but before me. that, I did. Uh, Mostly uh, uh -huh. dramatic shows. I see. You're a fine actor. You really are. You well, just did a film on TV just uh, what a couple weeks ago. That's right. That was a good good movie. I thought it was excellent. Uh, ABC movie of the week. And, yeah. What uh, was the title of that? I forgot. The Calendar Girl Murders. Calendar Girl Murders. Yes. Right. I didn't right. write it, but I was yeah. in it. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know I've done movies of the week and The Fall Guy and. Uh -huh. uh, Dukes of Hazard and things like that. That's what you're here doing now in um, Hollywood. I'm, you know, doing whatever, doing whatever one does. I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know what I have here? I have a gentleman right now I'm going to bring to I'd like you to meet. He's the man who's responsible for this wonderful paper called Drama Log here in Hollywood. And it is a casting sheet. It is for young people who don't know where to go. Now, I think it's more than a casting sheet. It has it? some of the finest interviews and has a lot of things of everything that's happening around town in so many uh -huh. ways in San Francisco and Paris and France and New York. Uh -huh. And uh, all over the area, I think it's something that uh, every actor reads or picks up because it's probably one of the... It's put together so well, it's colorful, and uh -huh. it, has a, uh, it, it shows you how to get along out here. It does, It helps yes. you how to get along. He is, and he is the in fact, I, I have a feeling that you even advertise in it. I do, I right. do. I do a showcase. So drama yeah. log is, uh, you know, like you think of variety, and yes, you think of other... Yeah. This is, stands on its own. It's, mm -hmm. uh, 
It's a very fine magazine. I'd like you to meet him right now. I Robert. would like to meet him. His name is Bill Brody, the Why publisher not? of Drummerlog. Bill yes. Brody. Almost, Brody, almost Brody, 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 Brody. How no, are you, Bill? Say, it is Brody. <laughs> right. Oh, almost. Oh, yeah. oh, oh that's a great plug. <laughs> and name. it's not a sheet anymore. It was it a is, sheet many, many years it ago. It was? Now it's, it's a full It's, it's a, a full it's a full fledged newspaper. Look, we we even have two front pages. Look at that. A sheet is something different. Yeah, well when Drummerlog started, it was a sheet. It was, I Because we just had And when did it all start? Well actually that was a second step. When the first step, uh, 15 years ago, we had uh, 15. just celebrated our 15th anniversary, uh -huh. as a matter of fact, uh, uh -huh. March 15th, the Ides of March. Congratulations. And uh, the first couple years, it, it, uh, it wasn't a publication at all. It was uh -huh. a telephone answering service. If that's what it you was. You dialed the number, uh -huh. and you got a recording of my voice, and uh, <clears throat> my voice told you who was casting or who was auditioning the next uh -huh. day or the, uh -huh. the, or the next couple days right. uh, for shows, you mm -hmm. see. And uh, we did that for about two and a half years, and then mm -hmm. we got so many people calling, mm -hmm. uh, I, had to, I had to go and start uh -huh. printing the thing. Mm -hmm. So I started printing it as a casting sheet. Oh, that I came see. out twice a week. Uh -huh. And uh, then that grew from the casting sheet mm -hmm. to a legal size folded in half, then uh -huh. to eight and a half by 11 folded in, uh, fold, uh, uh, opened and filled and uh -huh. adding pages mm -hmm. and, and to what it is What's today. The sub what is the uh, subscription today and where does it go? We, are, we, have, uh, our our, we sell just about the same amount as the Daily Variety, and they've been around do, for 50 really? years. Of course, they're, they're daily. Uh -huh. I'm only weekly. I come out once a uh -huh. week. But uh, I know we're at least the amount that the Hollywood Reporter sells, mm -hmm. and the uh, uh, Variety, they might sell maybe 2,000 more than mm -hmm. us. But we're getting there. We've only been around 15 years. So for young people that come to Hollywood, that's what they this should do? This is the paper to get, because that's uh -huh. why I started the paper uh, many, many years ago, yes. or started the service before it became the paper, because uh -huh. I was an actor, I had training for an actor, and couldn't wait you to get You were an out. actor, Bill Borden? Yeah, and I still am. Yeah. I mean, once an actor, always an actor, uh -huh. you and know. You, and I have, I have, I have, I'm not a working actor, but I'm, I'm an actor, uh -huh. you know. You wanted I, to be an actor. Sure. Yeah, I came out here ready to break into the movies, and there I was see. no, I had no way uh -huh. of knowing how to do it, how to go about it, and that's mm -hmm. the problem with most kids coming out today, they they, to there's no, no way to go. Right. Is that so. uh, how you got the idea for Drama Log? How did it start in your head? Uh, Actually, the idea... Are you a writer? No. Well, no, I hate to write. It isn't, you get in life what you resist. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to write. You know, I, me, I'm illiterate. What am I doing with a newspaper? But actually, uh -huh. I'm not really illiterate. And um, uh, it's just... It just evolved into that because we needed the service. I started the service, uh -huh. and um, uh, initially people were saying, how are you making money on it? Because it was a free service, and I said, I'm not. Somehow, someday, this will evolve into something, and I'll make a living on it. Mm -hmm. So now I'm doing more than making a living. I'm doing very, very You're well. You're doing very well. In how fact, many people do you have working for you? Oh, see, uh, not a big staff. People walk in sometime, and they look around and say, this is all there is? Uh -huh. but we have a very marvelous, fine-honed staff, and they mm -hmm. all... Uh, Who's your editor? My, my editor, in, I used to be the editor, and then uh -huh. a few years back I gave that away to uh, my associate editor at that time. Uh, he, I, he became editor, and now he's editor-in-chief. Right. He has the whole say of, of mm -hmm. the copy that goes in there, because I'm trying to get away a little bit more doing some and other, other adventures. His name, name is Lee Melville. Melville. Uh -huh. And... Uh, uh, you have a wonderful woman there, Polly. Critic, Polly uh, Warfield. Warfield. She's, she's wonderful. been around have you met her? for. A, a no, long she's wonderful. Yeah. She's a wonderful critic yeah. here in town. Yeah. She's she's usually right on the button. Right. She really right. is right on the button, Robert. Right. Because yeah. since since the the casting, of course, we have grown into we we review uh -huh. almost all of the theater in town, all of the professional theater. Right. When I'm professional, I hate to use that word because it's been overused. But by professional, we, we mean equity or equity waiver theater uh -huh. uh, uh, theater that has been. Uh, uh, sanctioned by mm -hmm. the actors stage union which is equity yes. and we have we, last year alone we covered over seven we reviewed over 700 plays mm -hmm. so there is that much theater going on there is. in los in LA. angeles there is, that's my yes. county community theater college yeah, theater that's really strictly is. professional mm -hmm. theater mm -hmm. which means we cover about 14 15 average 14 15 plays a week mm -hmm. and uh, so that, that that's quite a bit you and you did mention that mm -hmm. this might go to uh, oh in to new york yeah i'm thinking uh, uh, Drama Log is going to New York. A fellow who was my editor oh, nice. many, many years ago when we first started out, he was a young fellow. His name was uh, Doug Cole. Mm -hmm. He had to go to Broadway to start to want, he wanted to produce some Broadway shows. Mm -hmm. So uh, he did produce a couple off Broadway shows. One was called Trixie True and mm -hmm. uh, a couple other ones. I, I, it's terrible. I should really remember. And uh, again, he ha hated movies and y you get in life with your resistance. He wound up uh, working on, on a lot of the movies that were. Uh -huh 
in, uh, in uh, New York. So uh, we've been talking together. Now he's ready to do a New York edition of Drama Log. Mm -hmm. So I may go back, I feel, sometime this year and to get the whole thing rolling. Uh -huh. So we'll have the Hollywood Drama Log and the New York Drama Log. And next year, the year after, we'll have the Parisian Drama Log. You'll have one. Uh, you'll have one. Drama Log at Paris. Yeah. Paris. <laughs> you'll have yeah. one probably in Dallas and Chicago. I mean, the, well, indus we can. the industry is spreading. Really yeah. Well, it yes, is. Yes, it is. It mm -hmm. is. Yeah. Especially in Texas now, there's an awful lot Bill of. Bill Bordy. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You started. <laughs> you were in. You were in the circus. You st you studied in the circus at Sarasota. Well, okay. Did you? I, I didn't actually study in the circus. I, no. I went to the Ringling School of Art, ah. fresh out of high school. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. uh, I was going to. Uh, I studied to, to be a commercial artist, which came in handy later when I started doing drama log. Uh -huh. I did all the layout and yes, everything. Right. And um, uh, we had animal drawing classes uh -huh. and landscape uh -huh. classes at the uh -huh. Ringling Brothers Winter Quarters. Yes, right. And I went there and uh, met the people and uh -huh. just. Uh -huh. It was. It was like home. I knew. Yeah. You know, they were all European, and my parents are right. European. And, and you also MC. And I just uh, MC shows for that, strips. That was that was, that was. that was much later. Yeah. Much later. But in in the circus, circus. Was, was was kind of funny because I, I almost joined the circus. Did you really? I was going to be an elephant boy, and I was starting to work out in the uh, the the parallel uh -huh. bars and the trampoline and. Every uh, kid has that. You know, no, and I was going to. Then I met the chef, and he uh -huh. was so dirty, and I said I could never eat the food, and off <laughs> I went. You know. <laughs> Robert, did you have any <laughs> desire to join the circus really? uh, often. when you were a kid? Oh or, no, I I still do today. Uh, uh -huh. Often when things when I feel a little blue, I go. I think I'll join the circus. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing well, that it I is, want to it's run an away. exciting life. You know, I put makeup yeah. on. It's another yeah. it's another show business, isn't it? But like it is. Jimmy it's Stewart always show. And Hyde yeah. It's another type of show business. Well, that's you know, yeah. I, I would much rather have done what Bobby was uh, was doing, getting in the films and, and uh -huh. doing Broadway. But uh -huh. still, I was what in my show business, almost the circus, and then. Uh -huh. And what about and staging uh, the what about now? Shows and, I'm in, uh, what yeah. are you doing now? Well, what are I'm your aspirations? I'm finally doing it. After all these years, I'm finally doing some movies. I did a few over the years. You're going to do films. Yeah, I did a few. Uh -huh. I, I mean, as an actor, uh, I think I've probably done more films in Hollywood that have never been released, uh -huh. that have been sitting on the shelves. You know, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one of these days they'll, they'll, they'll get out. But I'm actually um, uh, producing. Uh, uh, and directing and writing uh -huh, uh -huh. and acting in one right now that uh, called Twilight <coughs> Blues. Uh -huh. So uh, before I fall apart too too badly, I, I want to do. Uh, and then I did a, I did a French movie uh, oh, uh, last year too. What's your advice in for French. young people mm -hmm. to? Uh, in French, not French. Not you know, French. not like you know, not like dirty or anything. <laughs> Have you ever been to Paris? Have you? Yeah, I lived there you, for you, a while. Mm -hmm. I did too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did too. I entertained the troops there. Uh -huh. Yeah, you were an MC. Uh, getting back, you were an MC and. Uh, in, a, in burlesque. In burlesque, yeah. yeah there I was, I, was, uh -huh. I was 19 years old and I was, the, the world's your oyster and you can do anything. And also so, a private detective, I understand. That was, that was later. Would you believe him, a private <laughs> man of all trades, <laughs> really. I, I, I played private I in forgot. a lot of those old chibi movies. I, yeah, you mentioned right. that you're in burlesque. I, you know, I completely forgot, and I wonder why. I was with Cal, Carol Channing, Channing. In, in Sugar Babies. <laughs> oh, that's, that's right. right. She did Sugar course, Babies. That's right. Course. Sugar right. Babies, yes. That, so burlesque that, is that, a, that is it. Burlesque that's, is a lot of fun. Yes. I mean, that, that really, that I, all the routines in the burlesque right. shows. I wish I could have seen you and yeah. her doing it. Sugar Babies, Because I have seen Mickey and... And uh, yeah. Mickey, like times. I know him, I don't sure. know Mickey. Yeah, well, it, it's a lot of fun putting on an old hat and dancing. being yeah, crazy. Yeah. And uh -huh. Well, I, I can just imagine the opening of the, the one scene where, where Mickey or you, I'm, I've seen Mickey, and I've, you too, when he has the back and tur turns around, he's in drag. Yes, ah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and it's yes. so funny. So, and, and, I, and, I, and I envisioned you doing it when I when I when I saw him too. You know, so. well, did you do it in L.A., uh, Robert? Or no, I did uh, Sugar Babies in Texas, Texas yeah. Dallas, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and St. Louis Municipal Louis. Opera, uh -huh. and Boston. How uh, was Carol Channing to work? I mean, you worked with her, but how? What kind of a lady really she is? Ah, uh, she's what kind of a lady? What she was is? Carol Channing like to work with? Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a really good question. No. Could she be anything other than what she is? <laughs> no, what kind of a lady really she is to work with? Robert? Joan Rivers. What are you going to? You want to say something bad? Joan Rivers. No, you want him to say something bad. No, I don't want him to say nothing bad. Evidently, he I'm won't sure answer me. No. He won't answer me. Then. No. So we just. Uh, she's a great lady. She's a great well, performer. Like Joan Rivers. You mean Joan Rivers? What I'm going to say about Joan Rivers? I think she, she gets beyond the bond. No, you know, no. She just yeah. carries away too much yeah, for me. Yeah. But, um, Bill Bordy, what would you tell our young people when they come to Hollywood? What would they do? Buy drama log. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. True. That's, True. that's really the only way to go. Uh, that's the great thing about the drama log. When uh, an aspiring actor or, or singer or they dancer or, or technician yeah. comes to town, uh -huh. uh, that's where, where that person can go. Pick Get up all a the copy information. Of the drama log uh -huh. and they'll find out exactly what's happening. Uh -huh. And the next day, they should be able to go out and get an interview 
or at least send a picture and resume. Do they somewhere. get jobs? Do, yeah, they get do, jobs. Some Carol time, Channing. Do, yeah. Carol, Carol Channing, yes. Carol Channing probably loves more than anything else to be on a stage and entertaining and giving to an audience. I mean, absolutely, the, 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 I haven't met anybody as obsessed with, with anybody Doing that I've ever theater. worked with that, well, I mean it in a, in a, a loving way, that yes. she just loves to be on a stage and doing it the way she feels and uh, she just loves an audience and uh, she uh, seems to that's that's something that's quite admirable you know mm -hmm. some of us get tired or don't want to yeah. do a show every night or feel that she gets there at about three in the afternoon and already has the next day oh, planned boy. and then she uh -huh. so she she loves the theater and uh, that's she's something she's a great lady I met her in Kansas City Missouri once she was wonderful she came to a club where I was working I was working uh, a club in Kansas City, and she came in. She was a great supporter for entertainers. Did, well, Carol Lawrence took over the part for a while, too. Was that, was that with you? Or I was believe that, that was in New York. <coughs> in New York. Excuse I don't me. know when you were with her. Right. Carol Lawrence took it over. Joey Bishop has done it. Other people have done right, different right, parts yeah. when someone has gone on a vacation or mm. been hurt for a Robert while. Robert Morris, do you really miss New York? Oh, God. Uh, that's Listen, tell me. if I could be in a play right <laughs> now, it would be wonderful. Well, you know, I love, right. I love the stage. Of course. But, uh, any, I'm so grateful for whatever happens in my life, my children, uh -huh. and I'm happy in so many ways. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I, I don't feel I want to attain anything or need anything or, uh -huh. you know, that kind of stuff. I, uh -huh. I'm just uh, working with a lot of people and helping a lot of people, and they're helping me, and, and uh -huh. whatever happens is fine. You know, I'm, I, I'm very grateful to be working, that's all. But you I'm are going to be doing Sugar again, aren't you? I, I might, I might yeah. be doing Sugar uh, with Larry Kurt at the Houston Civic Light Opera. Larry Kurt, my and, God. Uh, well, Houston is, is the next L.A., uh, New York. It is, really? Houston. I mean, it Houston? is. I mean, I mean it it's is? almost the three cities now, uh -huh. just about uh -huh. the... It has a nice yeah. ring to it, the, sure. the uh, Houston a, Civic uh, Light uh -huh. Opera. No. I mean, that's pretty it's, nice. It's, and, uh, it's a, it's a anytime I can get on a stage and go, hello! What would you tell the young people that come uh, to, to come to Hollywood or New York? How does they should prepare themselves, Robert? Wow, that that is a I wanna, tough. You know, it is a hard question to ask because I often do get letters. You know, I wish to do this. What would you? Where should I study? What? Uh, where should I go? Or what should I do? And it's very hard to give advice to uh, yes. a young actor what they should do when they want a mm -hmm. specific. And I guess yes. all one can say is. Uh, if it, within their heart they want something and if they want to work at it, you know, there are classes to be taken, mm -hmm. uh, there are dance classes to be taken, mm -hmm. there's all sorts of things that they can get involved with and get involved with other people their age mm -hmm. and then they will find their way, their mm -hmm. way within the people of their own age mm -hmm. and take, you know, and, mm -hmm. and pursue it from there. But yes. it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a tough life, and, uh, but if they want it and... Mm -hmm. You know, it, I don't mean it's a tough life. It, it, you know what I'm saying. It, it, it has its difficulties, <laughs> like anything. Yes. And if, but if they want it bad enough, and uh -huh. if they have the, they want to just go with it, no. do it. You know? <laughs> Robert Morris, is there a lady in your house, in life right now? A lady in my life? Yes, I like. Oh, to. certainly. Is there? Uh, yes, there's a. There's That's, a you look so happy. That's <laughs> why I just <laughs> felt it. There is a lady. There is. Certainly. Is she an actress, or is she in the business, or? Is oh, she I. She's a friend of mine. She's a she's, friend. She's 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 a lady in my she's life. Special. And but no, I got lots of nice ladies. Uh -huh. Lots of friends and lots of people around. You look very happy, Robert. He looks so oh. young, doesn't he? Yeah. He never go old. <laughs> grow old, Robert well, Morris. Well, the truth the truth yeah. of the matter is that I, I I can't. I just you know whatever Your face. the way I look is yes. is okay. I guess it's you know no drinking, no pills. What can I oh, tell that's you? That's wonderful. And don't drink, don't smoke. That's, that's my. Oh, you smoke. Right. What? Cigarettes? Once in a while. That's this it. One? But, but I, you look wonderful. But the other step I don't do. And, uh, that's great. Robert. And, uh, but I, inside, it, that's it's it. rust. That's, that's it's it. rust. It's a spiritual, it's a spiritual yeah. thing. Yeah. You can see. <laughs> and how about you in Hollywood? What's happened for uh, Bill Bordy in Hollywood? Well, What's as I said right next? now, I'm still shooting uh, Twilight Blues. Uh -huh. Hope to have that finished. Are you married, Bill? Uh, no. You're not no. married? No. Uh -huh. I've, Got some in my life right now. <laughs> but you have, a, you have a sister that runs your business well, for you. Well, she doesn't she, run it. She she, uh, she handles. Uh, uh, her name is Pearl. Pearl, right? She uh -huh. handles the, the money aspect of it. Uh -huh. She handles all the books and the the boring stuff. The boring. Uh -huh. But she loves that. Uh -huh. you say. I right. see. Right. And um, uh, as I say, I'm I'm just trying to get away from the drama log as much as I can to pursue uh -huh. my other uh, mm -hmm. my other pursuits. I also. Uh, uh, 
am uh, one of the owners of the Music Connection, which is I a drama lodge for... Music Connection? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't know that. Which is like a drama lodge for yes, musicians. Yes, right, for musicians. And, uh, I'll be getting a little uh -huh. more involved with them again, uh -huh. too. Uh -huh. And um, uh, a lady friend of mine, two lady friends of mine, I, uh, just started a, a cosmetic business, so I'm involved mm -hmm. with that. So I always have music <laughs> connection. <laughs> Robert, that music in, connection right? is a place of paper like the drama log, but it's for musicians. It's for bands, oh. rock bands and stuff, right? You're a man for and, all uh, seasons. Yeah, <laughs> I advertise on that paper also. I right. have rock bands. Right. Yeah, right. I've been doing a talent showcase in town for like nine years, mm -hmm. and I've been advertising in his paper, mm -hmm. getting my people, mm -hmm. young singers and young comedians, and they come and audition for me. And I really want to thank you very, very much for getting those people for me. Well, and your I'm, paper I'm glad has, you can. Your you, paper has yeah. really helped. You've been doing me. the showcases now how, how many years? Nine, since I Nine got years. back from the Far East. Yeah, I was entertaining been, yeah. in the Far East. Yeah. I was in show business for 35 years, and all of a sudden I decided to come to Hollywood and run a talent showcase. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing it, and, and it's been, I've been enjoying it, helping young people, yeah. getting up there, performing. Robert Morse, <laughs> I want to thank you. Oh. You're a very special person. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Great you. talent. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Skippy Lowe. We have been looking at Hollywood. Thank you.